Viv Richards didn't play in the draw at Lords, but Andy Roberts returned a bag of ten, and the first of those was Barry Wood. And that's out, Barry Wood on his way, tried to pull his bat out of the way, couldn't manage it. Barry Wood misses out again here in a test match. He's out for six, Andy Roberts strikes the first blow for West Indies, and England lose their first wicket with a score on 15. That is great concentration. A good slower ball and he must be out. That's good bowling from Roberts. A lovely slower ball and Steele was beaten on the backstroke. And he's bowled him. Beaten there by a little bit of extra pace. And Roberts strikes again for West Indies. Mike Fairley who'd held out all this time for his 40 runs. Beautiful piece of bowling again by Roberts. Collects his third wicket, really out for 40. And the England score on 115 for three. And he's caught him, and a great bowling change. Roberts has done it again. He's come back. A brilliant catch there by skipper Clive Lloyd. Getting rid of Tony Gregg. Out for six, another failure for the England captain. And it's a wicket, and it's Andy Roberts' fifth wicket of the innings, rounding off a wonderful day's bowling by this West Indian pace bowler. It's John Snow, the man to go, without opening his account. Oh, what a great catch that is. Pure reflex, but a superb catch by Ralph Jumadine. That was a forcing stroke by Popock, and a good one too, from which he may well have picked up four runs. Andy Roberts now bowling to Woolmer. Woolmer's on 29. And that is out. The fourth wicket down in the England second innings. Bob Woolmer in the second over after T. Caught at the wicket by Derek Murray off the first ball of Andy Roberts first over that's in the air and it must be out yes it is the hook shot again is done for David Steele Ralph Jumadine taking the catch and Steele's cap falling off as he played what was a very good bumper from Andy Roberts And that must be very close indeed. Yes, it is. Alan Nutter's gone. And Roberts has taken his fourth wicket of the innings. A fine spell of bowling. Andy Roberts. Alan Knott, LBW, to Roberts for four. And it's all over. No need for Tony Gregg to declare. Underwood, clean bowl, comprehensively there by Andy Roberts. Ending England's innings on 254. The series then turned as the West Indies took control at Old Trafford. And it's 260 to win. Four runs for a start, but, oh, that was close to Clive Lloyd. And it's well bowled. Nice outswinger there. Bulmer was drawn into playing at that. It's fairly wide, though. It's along the ground. They'll pick up a couple of runs at least there. Collis King, the fieldsman. Certainly a quick over to start from Andy Roberts. And that is out, caught behind the first wicket to triumph for Andy Roberts. And David Steele is gone. And the second ball he faced caught Derek Murray, bowl Roberts, and England a five for one, needing 260 to win.
There it is. I'm not sure that David Steele had to play at it. it certainly is a tremendous shout there. Beaten there. Well, he had to play at that one and another really fine delivery from Anderson Roberts. Completely beaten the forward defensive push of Frank Hayes. Now, now at this near end to face Roberts. Good shot. Time that nicely. Pushed it away just in front of square. Holder doing well. He'll cut it off. And the batsman turning for three. Mr. Ball, since this match started, our little friend down there. Oh, he played that one. Wasn't far away. Again, the lift and movement. And that's it. Alderson's gone, no need to look at the umpire. Went for the flashing off drive, thick outside edge. Robert strikes again, and England once again in all kinds of trouble. Alderson out for four, caught by Murray. And the total standing only on 23. Disaster for England again. Alderson looking to crash that through extra cover, never quite at the pitch of it. Murray moving to his right, snapping up the catch. Walmer survives at the far end on 17. And Willie to face his first ball. And that must be close to. And Andy Roberts absolutely disgusted that that wasn't given. Willie moving inside. And I think a few words coming back here from uh, umpire Constant. And he's very upset, and the West Indians are very upset. They felt that uh, Peter Woolley was absolutely plumb there. Moving on to the back foot. And my word, that looked close. More runs. <laughs> Beautiful on drive. No way they'll stop that one. Ted, well, that uh, single to Tony Gregg, Herald in here, the 50 partnership between these two. The sun certainly shining on Tony Gregg at the moment. Those 50 runs have come in uh, just a shade over 35 minutes. Good Yorker. Single to Gregg, he goes to 41. Not sure that was the wisest move to take at that stage of the over. Not a lip reader, but it looked as though it was something like, where did that go? Exactly where it went. About nine inches on the right hand side of the edge of the bat. A loop by Viv Richards. We had a good opening batting duo, and Ian Chappell was first to get most of those times. That's the one he gets into trouble on. Whether to go for the hook shot or whether to defend. Good delivery that from Andy Roberts. Just 
going with it. Didn't know exactly where it went. Beautiful delivery, that one from Andy Roberts. In fact, I'd go so far as to say he didn't have the slightest idea where it went, Keith. It's gone. A good catch, a good delivery, too, from Andy Roberts. Greenwich at second slip. And a fine catch that Australia now, two for 26. Ian Chappell caught Greenwich, bowled Roberts for two. Laird is on 18. Greenwich just in the top left-hand corner of your picture. There's some what good bowling by Andy Roberts. That unsettling ball, the previous one, and that one then tentatively Ian Chappell just pushing at it, getting the edge, and a good catch by Gordon Greenwich. And great bowling by Andy Roberts. Ian Chappell just playing from the crease, getting an edge, and a pretty straightforward catch there for the joyful Gordon Greenwich. So Australia in trouble now, two for 26. And he's gone, first ball. Roberts is on a hat-trick. Great bowling from the West Indian speedster. That was a perfectly pitch bouncer. The chapel's gone with successive balls. Andy Roberts has done it for the West Indies. And what delight there is in the faces of all the fielding side. So Andy Roberts now on a hat-trick. And what a great delivery that one is. Ball similar to the one that got Ian Chappell out. Rick Chappell fending it off. A nice, simple catch for Joel Garner in the gully. And there's the great Sir Donald Bradman. Looks as if he's wearing a West Indies... Uh, touring tie there that's certainly the colors of the West Indies tie and I assume that uh, he would have had uh, many given to him over the years he's talking there to Peter Lush the public re relations uh, officer for the Test and County Cricket Board in England the last hat trick in Adelaide was Lance Gibbs in fact I stood at the other end and watched it no better place to be when there's a hat trick on Andy Roberts now. The last ball of his sixth over. No field change. Oh, what a good ball. And a little half smile left from Max O'Connell. Always appreciative of good bowling. Indeed, that was. Two for 12 in six overs, one maiden. What a great delivery this one was. Kim Hughes letting it go, just moving off the wicket. Just a couple of inches in it. 